to the agenda. At the end, we're going to have a very, very short executive session, and just to review a couple of uh, legal letters, and there will be no decision coming out of that. So, Brendan, if you would mind starting off with the warrants. I have the general warrant, uh, dated 4-11-18. Uh, it's for the sum of $57,116.17. Uh, one of the largest payments out of there was a quarterly for AmCare. It's about 11.5. 11, 11, um, then we have a lot of Blue Cross and Blue Shield payments. A lot of insurance payments, yeah. Right, so those are those are some of the biggest, and then we have a lot of smaller invoices under 500 bucks. So I'm going to make a motion that we approve that warrant. What's the number again? $57,116.17. Okay. Any questions? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Okay, Bruce, you have a few warrants? Yeah, I have an industrial park warrant uh, in the amount of $979.77. And it's for three items. It's for um, light signs for $7.20. Uh, road lights for $23.25. And um, sewage pump for $9. Forty-nine thirty-two, for a total of nine seventy-nine seventy-seven. Okay. Any questions? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Okay. Motion carries. Do we have a payroll warrant too somewhere? I do. No. Okay. I have a couple. Thank you, Alan. So I would move that we approve the payroll warrant for March twenty-sixth through April first, in the amount of fourteen thousand dollars two hundred fourteen thousand two hundred fifteen dollars and sixty cents. And also approve the warrant of April the payroll from April second to through April eighth in the amount of fifteen thousand seven hundred and eighty two dollars and nine cents. Okay, all those in favor again indicate by saying aye. 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 Okay, motion is carried. Thank you. Minutes. Yeah, we have a lot of appointments at the last minute, the last meeting. There are no changes. I'd entertain a motion to approve them as written. So moved. Okay. Any comments? No. Okay. All those in favor in here are saying aye. 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 Thank you. Now we have Mr. Mr. Robert Bissett. Yeah. How are you? you? What are you? I understand you want to talk to us. Mm -hmm. Why don't you come on up to the, to the, to the, to the chair? what you guys are doing yeah so I've been doing this for about a year now um, it's been awesome thank you guys for giving me the opportunity and just um, for the record it, for people that don't know you're rep our representative on the Northwest Rail Trail Rail Trail Committee oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm the, the town rep for them yes um, been doing it for a year now and, uh, um, sorry real quick just got to get my notes <laughs> While we're waiting for uh, Mr. Bissett to just locate those notes, I want to uh, welcome AJ Johnson, Preston's mom. Preston's mm. going to get a big kick out of that shout out, so we're just going to do that for him. A future voter, uh, maybe. It's one. I know. I know. Uh, you never know. And we, we are live, so. We, Actually, we're not. We're not live. No, they, since they moved recently, they All haven't right. been able to. Um, they, we're not live tonight. So I wasted my time remembering the telephone number. Well, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> You'll need it, I think, next right. time. Okay, Robert or Bob? What do you prefer? Robert's fine. Okay. Thank you. Um, no, so um, right now, I mean, our biggest thing has been um, uh, uh, things like uh, ATV use on the rail trail. Um, fortunately, uh, our section, the St. Albans Town section, doesn't see a whole lot of that. Um, I live right next to the rail trail, so it's kind of helpful. I mean, I see, all, every, I haven't seen, there's nothing I haven't seen on that rail trail. Um, but ATV use is pretty minimum on our end. Um, we've been trying to get uh, the sheriff to try and enforce that, which uh, they won't. Um, they got a problem with chasing, um, well, teenagers. Uh, it, there's, a, there's some s uh, serious uh, safety issues with that. So we've been in contact with them and at least, you know, talking. We've got dialogue. Um, but uh, our section is, uh, it's nice. We don't we don't see a lot of that. Um, uh, the other thing we've been dealing with is uh, wild parsnip along the trail. Um, it's 
pretty bad. <laughs> um, our section isn't too, too bad, um, more towards the interstate. Um, so we've been uh, trying to find ways to mitigate that and try and reduce it um, because it's, it's, well, I'm sure you guys see it every day too. Um, what do you do? You, you pull it up or burn it? Uh, the most effective way is to pull it up before it flowers uh, and then let it, you know, just pile it up in the sun and let it burn off. Um, time consuming though. It's uh, super time consuming. You have to, I mean, you're out there in the middle of summer wearing, you've got to wear head to toe gear. Um, so the next best thing is to try and, and that's where I'm leading into uh, with V-Trans, is to try and get them to mow it down. That's the next best thing. Um, it won't stop it from growing, but it'll stop it from proliferating, uh, if you can get it before it flowers. Um, when I started with the rail trail, um, that was one of the reasons why I got started with the rail trail was um, I didn't think they were mowing enough. Uh, the V-Trans wasn't really, and I didn't know the mechanism, I just didn't know it was, you know, who did it. But uh, apparently it's V-Trans. Uh, this year, this past year, 2017, uh, they stepped up to the plate and uh, I think they did a great job. Um, we got two mowings out of them. Uh, they're a bit late. Um, I think we're trying to get them, um, although they've done a good job um, mowing last year, uh, we want to get them in earlier um, before the parsnip. Um, but last year we got two mowings out of them uh, and they, uh, they also did some trimming, some tree trimming along the trail. They, uh, they pushed it back about six feet on either side. So um, great line of sight on the trail. So we're in pretty good shape there. Um, and VTrans been doing a lot of other great things, um, uh, like uh, getting the Sheldon section bridge all fixed up and stuff like that. Um, we at the Rail Trail, are, one of uh, the, our biggest things is trying to get the word out locally. Um, we don't think we have a problem with uh, tourism. You know, people from outside the state seem to know where we are, the Rail Trail. Uh, we see a lot of um, uh, traffic in that respect. Uh, but it's uh, we're trying to find ways to get some of the locals around here to you know hey we're here use us you know enjoy um, we've been doing things like uh, trying to um, uh, reach out to other organizations like uh, rec departments uh, rise Vermont um, or rise VT um, there are a lot of things that we could try and collaborate with to try and get people onto the rail trail you know around there um, uh, social media is another thing we're trying to do too to try and get out the word um, so uh, those are some of the things we're doing. Um, all in all, our section of the rail trail is great. Um, I see it as a flagship um, for the rail trail, uh, the, the town, because we're right there in the trailhead. Um, the uh, roadbed, uh, or the, uh, the, the surface bed, is uh, in great shape in our section. It's iffy in other sections, but uh, uh, all the culverts, um, and they keep a really good condition on our side, so um, uh, it's really good. Um, and that's pretty much it. I don't know who if you guys have any. Who does the maintenance on the trail regularly? Right? Um, the, uh, like, um, it's V Trans. Yeah, V Trans exclusively. Um, I've offered, like, uh, <laughs> I have a thing, like, I don't mind helping, like, uh, when they had uh, uh, boards on the um, Sheldon Bridge that needed replacing, I was like, I got spare boards, I've got all the material, I can do it. And they're like, nope. <laughs> um, uh, v Trans, yeah, they, that's their, their deal. There's a segment on Channel 3 News today about, um, I think it was the Burlington area, mm. where people are walking their dogs, dogs are getting sick mm. um, because of the different types of, uh, uh, well, different stuff that grows yeah. along these trails. Yeah. And when they're out uh, walking the dogs, the dogs will sniff it, eat it, you know, yep. get close to it and get, uh, do we do any spraying whatsoever? On the trail, is that no? No, no we don't do any. No, we do no, uh, uh, nothing like that. No, okay. no pesticides or herbicides. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Robert. When you say our section, I'm not familiar with our section. We have uh, nine towns the, the trail goes through. Um, we're just the St. Albans town. Uh, uh, we, so we have uh, the Swanton section, the Highgate, uh, no, no, the, the Fairfield section, um, the Sheldon <coughs> section. So, yeah. From where to where is Oh, our section is, uh, it's pretty much almost a mile. It's uh, right past the uh, overpass. You know where the interstate overpass is um, for the rail trail? Um, over by Franklin Park West. That's pretty much where our section ends and Swanton section starts. So from the messenger up there, the from 105 and Sheldon Road up there. Yeah. Behind the Maple there. City Diners uh, Park. Th that's the parking area, mm -hmm. yeah. Who was out Sunday cleaning up on Seymour Street? That was me. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> it makes it much easier for the traffic. It does. Um, my thing is um, <clears throat> that um, it opens it up to the road too. Yes. Sometimes you'll have like overnight parking and stuff like that, and I just want it to be open, you know. Uh, plus, it helps. Uh, there's a lot of trash in there too. I see you by yourself. I said, "Let's guys out here giving up some time." But yeah, no, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. I enjoy this. Thanks. Is, are they doing the half marathon there again this year? Yes, I believe they are. Yeah. So um, those are things we want to try and tap into too on our like with the uh, uh, with our uh, social media and stuff like that. We're you know getting getting that word out and stuff like that. Um, there are other things like the rail trail itself is the perfect length for a marathon. So <laughs> why are we doing that? So those are the kinds of questions we're having. Okay, during the yeah, anniversary of the St. Albans Ray, we did a half marathon just to, yeah. to get it started. So. Yep. You know, and I think uh, we put together yeah, the rest of it. That's been going on uh, yearly uh, since then. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Do you have uh, regular uh, minutes from your committee meetings? Yes, uh, Jen Gray. Uh, she's uh, I've given I've submitted them all okay. to her. So um, yeah, I think I've got uh, like six or seven since I've started, and they've uh, she has them all now. So I, I guess as, she, as we get them in the future, we can you know, be more timely. We can, we can read them one at a time. Instead of a yeah. Bus. Well, I wasn't quite sure how that mechanism works, so she got in contact with me recently, and. Uh, and um, she was able to get them, but uh, now that I know the mechanism, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be submitting them to her uh, monthly, or bi-monthly, I think it's every other month. So wow. how often do you meet? We meet uh, once every other month. Uh, I think it's like the third Monday. Um, so our next one's going to be in uh, May. Good. Okay. Does anybody have any other questions? Anybody from the audience have any questions or comments? <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for all your help. We appreciate, appreciate it when we yes. walk our dog down there. Thanks very much, Robert. Thank you. Okay. The last time we uh, did not uh, appoint a tree warden for lack of applicants, I understand we now have one person who is uh, keenly interested. Yes, yes. And. Uh, <laughs> He agreed to do it. Jack Brigham uh, <laughs> really enjoys doing these things, so he has volunteered again. Well, volunteered for this one anyway. So I'll we'll move that Jack Brigham be appointed to be warden for the town of St. Albans. Okay, so for a one year term. Okay. One year term. Does anybody in the audience wish to uh, volunteer as well? I don't see any hands going up. Okay. Okay, if there are no others, I'd. Uh, I'd, I'd uh, Ask all those in favor of Jack Brigham be taking over uh, the tree warden. Please indicate by saying aye. 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 Okay. So now we can let Jack know he's, a, he's officially our tree warden. We will. I'm sure he's eager and waiting for that email. Yes, he's uh, waiting for those trees to start budding. Right. <laughs> it can. He's aware, actually. Jack was a former. He was on the select board before. He remembers. And I sent him before he. Had agreed the um, duties. Yeah, yes, the statutory yeah. things. Yeah. We didn't want them surprised. Exactly. Jack will be a good man for that job. Yeah. You're an and actually admitted that he did have some uh, experience taking some classes in college. Years ago. Okay, Carrie, you're up. I'm up. Right. <coughs> so um, I have the personnel policy. Um, I believe that the last time we talked, we had three different versions. I guess it was, there was a consensus that we didn't need to have a separate policy any longer, that perhaps we could insert that um, <clears throat> policy into our personnel policy and only revise it as needed. Um, so you have a draft. It's just a rough draft. It's not... I took the old one. I made a lot of notes on it. Okay, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, the idea I was trying to look at trying to integrate the two policies completely, so right. so it was seamless. So it applied to everybody, whether you, no matter whatever board you were on, an employee, part time, full time, it didn't matter, no exceptions. Mm -hmm. So the rest of the board doesn't mind. Uh, I suggest we look at this uh, after. Uh, we can add we your update, changes. Update that. Uh -huh. I ask everybody else to you know take a look at it and uh, make your suggestions and try to get it uh, for the next meeting. <coughs> I 
Bill? You have you submitted that to us yet? Because I no, I just I, oh, did, no, no, I just did it over the weekend oh, okay. myself. So uh, oh, look, I see the picture. Yeah, I have a lot of I have a lot of hand handwritten notes. Okay. And so you're trying to get things that say instead of saying like select board, it means covered party stuff like this. Okay. So, so it runs. I just make sure I have the right edition. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. what you have in your packets is just the very first. Yeah, that's the one. That's basically the one I was working from. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I do have one thought on page eleven, note number two. Second sentence, second line, says three thousand dollars per year. I thought we increased we that did. to five. You're right, we did. That should definitely be changed. Five thousand a year, okay. See. Yeah. Okay. So when I leave. This this was mm -hmm. for later, okay. It seems like it's just you uh, put the existing paperwork into this document. Looks to me, basically. Um, no, actually, I took what some of the draft, the current policy, combined with the draft two of the policy, and put them into the personnel policy. The personnel policy didn't have any real. Stated conflict of interest. If, like section one, it's the select board. Mm -hmm. Section two, the policy is select board. Yeah, that's, things like that, I'm changing. Well, this is we took it from the in one two pages, and now we put it in here. I don't see it's any better or any different. It's, yeah, there's some. But we're going to make another change. That's fine. I'll yeah. look at it. Try to make it smoother. That's fine. I'll look at it. Yeah. There were some typos in the old policies, but I'm not worried about those. So let's just let's put this off till we get an, yes. an updated, integrated one. Yeah, I thought that was updated once and for all. April 16, 2018. At the last meeting, it, basically the request was to try to combine three different right, things. Right, fit everything in, but it, it yeah. looks like it's sections are specialized in there for select board mm -hmm. and the general population. I thought we were going to. Bill's doing that. That's his, that's what huh? do. Bill is doing that with that's his that's what this was hope, I hope to do. Bill's doing it? Yeah. yeah. See, you know, this is what happens here. We have three different policies. Yeah. It's like a committee trying to build a horse. They get three different things and you end up with a camel. <laughs> and so you I don't just want that. to make one, one simple clean thing. and. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard that analogy before, but I'm going to well, catalog you know, it for later. You young guys, don't, not, not, not used to this stuff. I'm going to catalog that for later. Okay. <clears throat> so we don't have to take any action. This is more for information, isn't it? You just got to no, approve it. Just approve right. it. Right. Okay. Generally, the select board has asked to see these and then yeah. approve them. So uh, are we in agreement to uh, approve the wastewater request, allocation request for Larissa Wood? Before you get to, when you go to a five bedroom, you can make sure you have a, a septic that can take care of five bedroom versus three bedroom or a four bedroom. This lady did. She did everything proper, so I see no reason why we would hold this up. She knows that we don't have anything to do with septics anymore, thank God. Right, right. That's so, right. She's just this girl asking did, for the allocation. I shouldn't say girl, this property owner did everything proper. Thank you, Lisa. It's really it's a water allocation, not wastewater. Yep. That's right. Yeah. Standard form that we use every time yep. the request comes in, so it just need a motion. I'll move that we approve the rest of okay. Lisa Wood's application for um, water and um, Three thousand gallons per day water allocation. Three hundred, isn't it? Three hundred. Three hundred. Additional three hundred. Additional three hundred. Yes, right. Correct. Okay. All in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 Okay. Okay. Next item um, is just a, a little commercial. Although some people on social media have seen this, the town um, and specifically Allen has worked really hard at starting up a farmer's market. We're going to have at the Bay Park on Wednesdays. Um, we're going to see some 
signage around. Um, Alan has it. Could you ban that for us? Well, it's a really cool piece of art. Um, on Wednesdays from 5 to 8. Yeah, why don't you stand up with it and give a pitch to, to the TV as to what you would start at the hour? Give him the whole picture and he can hold it on the wall. Do one of these. You don't need to see me. <laughs> oh, they're seeing it. Nice job, Alan. Good job. That so, works really nice. So right now, Alan's um, looking for vendors. Uh, no, a number of them came to the bay and talked to you about it, but you still are you still accepting vendors? I, I am still accepting applications. We have 13 signed up so far. Um, quite a few have emailed me and probably sending applications. I, I see us at least hitting 20, maybe a few more vendors than that. Wow, that's pretty young. So, so it's every Wednesday. Yep, every Wednesday this summer, starting on May 30th, it'll go to September 26th. The only Wednesday it won't run is on the 4th of July. Okay. And it's from 5 o'clock in the evening to 8 o'clock. And we're going to have updates on our Facebook page and our website. And Alan is also working on some music, possibly, definitely, I can't say definitely, but possibly for the kickoff and then periodically through the summer. Yep. I have um, the Citizens Band lined up for a, a Wednesday in June and also in July. It'll run the same hours. Um, possibly a band kicking off the very first Farmer's Market on May 30th. And if I have any other music, we'll keep it updated in the um, website and in the town. You know, Alan, one you might want to check with is the uh, 40th Armored Band with the National Guard, the Army Band. They're always looking for, uh, they use it kind of as a recruitment type thing too, but uh, they're always looking for places to, to play. They're real good too. Yeah. Al, you wanted to make a comment? Yeah, no, a uh, question. Have you reached out to all the St. Albans town farmers? We've reached out to over 120 vendors. Farmers? That's most of your farmers market are the farmers. Know, okay. We're, um, I've had applicants coming all the way from Montgomery, Isla Ma, Alberg, Grand Isle, some are local. Um, Rise uh, Vermont at, let you access their list too? Um, healthy think? Roots through, um, yeah, Johanna oh, Sutter from Healthy Roots in the hospital has been working closely with me and giving out some of their vendors that they have. So what's the, what's the fee for a table for the, it, for the whole summer? $65 for the season. Season, okay. And they bring their own table? Yep. Okay. The other thing, we probably should put something in the message about this, a little ad or something, not only about the market, but also about whenever you have your music, give people a week or two of advance notice if we can. Yeah, and every drumming it up. We do? Or something, yeah. It's specifically in the parks budget? Mm, I don't know. Or is it in the parks budget? Well, we have one. Gotcha. Well, the income isn't there either, so you can just cover right, it that right, way. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Good. All right. Look forward to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and Alan also actually is working on Bay Day. Bay Day continues to evolve, and we're, we are having it on Saturday, June 30th. The great race is that day as well. Um, you'll see some um, <clears throat> literature on that as the great race starting to advertise and they just announced a, a sponsor, a major sponsor, Consolidated Communications has agreed to sponsor, help sponsor the Great Race. So all of those events are hopefully going to happen on Saturday, June 30th. The rain date is Sunday, uh, July 1st. Uh, so did you <coughs> at least for our fireworks. I'm not sure about everything else. but So the Chamber of Commerce, did, did you mention that Consolidated Communications are going to do it? I did. They, they bought fair points, so that's why they're taking that's it over. That's correct, yes. Okay. Um, and another little commercial that Anna um, and the Times Cl Clerk's Office is now accepting credit cards. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you want to expand that or that's kind of self-explanatory. So you can do it for many things um, and a number of different cards are accepted now. Any, any minimum? Um, $3 minimum okay. or 2.65%. Um, it's a one-time user fee. The users pay the fee, the taxpayers don't. Okay. Which is what we were searching for. <clears throat> yeah. So it's 2.65% one time or every time? Um, it's a $3 minimum right. or 2.65% one okay. time. And that's a fee that the company charges yeah, back sure. to the user. Okay. 
Very good. Very good. Um, I, it's one one other quick question. What is the uh, the rain date for the fireworks? It's July 1st. July 1st, okay. Uh, no, that's fine. And I have one other thing. I know that a couple of our, um, I just want to clarify our discussion at the last meeting about the brick walls. We had a couple people call both a couple of different employees, and I think there seemed to be some confusion. They were asking us um, why something that was budgeted for 5000 blew up to 54000 And I guess the park, I, I'd just like to clarify that the parks restoration budget um, has traditionally been about $5,000. Um, we used to use it for beach replenishment, or honestly, sand. Uh, last year we used it, and it was under $4,000 we used to buy some trees because we're trying to follow Nancy Patch's tree plan. Um, and in FY18, we plan to purchase a few more trees. I don't think we're planning to use all of that. Um, but the project evolved in that later in 2017, um, after the first wall was done, brought it to the select board because I think there was some dissatisfaction about not being able to do more. So I asked that at, on the 9-6-2017 meeting, as Stan mentioned earlier, um, if there was any support for doing the other ones because there hadn't been any previously. Um, so that project, per the 2017 discussion, we went out to bid again and just said, look, we're only going to do one more wall this fall. They could, if they would bid to do two in the spring, then we, you know, we basically supported that that change. Um, so the, that specific line, the parks restoration budget, um, is where we funneled the expense from. But it wasn't that a project that we had budgeted for five thousand came in at fifty four. The the work was actually it came in as bid. He was not over budget. He wasn't under budget either. either but um, it's just a one time special project that had been approved. Not that we just weren't keeping track of the expenses. You know, I don't think it was ever our intent to do just one wall. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember when we started. And because the, you just, yeah. you know, all, it, you're talking about the walls that go into yeah. park. Yeah. So there's two walls, one on each side of the road. And it would be kind of ridiculous just to do one wall and not do the wall on the other side that was falling and apart. There, and there was an opportunity to do it. And there was an opportunity. But I think the, yeah. the issue came up that yeah. we were a little, no, I think we we were a little loosey goosey about where the money was coming from. We didn't correct. We didn't uh, do our due diligence as it was. Right. And I just we didn't put in the, the proper discipline. So it's a wake-up call for us. So right. I think it's good, and I think people should ask. Right. right. I just didn't want someone thinking that we were that unaware of a budget. Yeah. I mean, and, and Alan is yeah. very specific. He checks in twice a week sometimes on those projects. I believe the minutes reflect that the select board did not say where the money was to come from. Exactly. That's so right. it's our fault. Yeah, no, I, 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 we take full, I, yeah. I, I take full responsibility for the board. Yeah. Okay. It was the chairman. That's a matter. I'm not going to blame somebody else. I was here. I should have done my job, too. Yeah. Okay. Now I remember I when we started. Job, didn't I? Okay. You remember when we, we started we talking about that? We though? talked about it, and we left it hanging for the specific right. purpose of the end of the year. Right. Okay. Yeah. When we first started talking about that, we were to the point where those walls were such an eyesore that we would oh, rather the tear them down. Be well, yeah. falling apart. Yeah. We were going to tear yeah. them down and put rocks there because we got a bid to, for a full so, restoration of about so over a hundred thousand. The moral of the story is, it became a nightmare, yeah. and we won't do it again. Okay. We'll be the more the of the just. And the public certainly does have the right to question where we're spending any penny of the public. Well, speaking of spending, <laughs> yeah, we had a, a planning meeting the other day. And in that planning meeting, we took a look at all of our capital improvement projects that are uh, laid out, and we ranked them. And the ranking in order of preference are the following projects. Number one, the W uh, DPW? DPW, moving the DPW from the current location to Brigham Road. The second highest rank was the, what we call a town hall project. And that, that's a question of what do we do with the town hall? Do we look at moving and building a new one, or do we look at renovating? So that's, that's priority number two. Number three, and this is phase one of the St. Albans Health Path. This is from Collins Perley to Satek and Grice Brook. And we, that's being kind of uh, slowed down a bit because we're still looking for traffic study uh, work and with the school and the consensus with VTrans. Number four, 
is the MS4 funding project. And this is this whole stormwater issue. And this is uh, potentially big dollars down the road. But that's our fourth priority, but it's certainly up, uh, up there. And our, <coughs> excuse me, number five on our priority list is a stone house renovation. This is the stone house in the park. And uh, what we're looking at initially is doing is sealing it all up, you know, making it weather tight. So that means windows and doors like that. A full renovation, including roof and so on, will be looked at as we go forward. The preliminary numbers are pretty high, and we don't feel like we can uh, swallow a real big number right now. But those are the five. Public Works, Town Hall, Health Path, MS4, and the Stonehouse Renovation. Okay? Thanks for information. <coughs> Excuse me. You have anything else to? Uh, I don't. Okay, not, thank you. The next uh, section we have is public comment. Anybody wish to come up and speak their mind about anything and everything or whatever? Dan? Nothing, thanks. Nothing tonight? You're happy? You're not, not really happy. I, 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 <laughs> okay. I, 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 Are you think so. Getting there. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. No? So, Alan? I have a moment of levity if you will uh, tell Please. Oh, I'm, I'm always good for a good joke. I'm not sure <laughs> where, where I heard it, whether it was a member of the, in the room now, but anyway, people discouraged with the uh, rain and the weather. Uh, I heard that uh, Mother Nature was confused when she was driving down the road of a fork, came to the fork, and she looked at Father Time and said, what should we do? Uh, he said, she said, get out and ask some instructions. And Father Time refused to get out of the car. So that's the dawn we're in today. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Yogi Berra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They, they all joke about it. So people get, how do you get to my house? They say, you go to the road and you take the fork. And they say, which one? Just take the fork. It didn't matter because it, it went around both roads, went right to his house. So, well, Yogi was smarter than they thought. It's like you said, people don't go there anymore because it's too busy. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> right. <clears throat> okay, then schedule. Next meeting we have is May 7th. And then the 21st. We have this infrastructure meeting, is it Wednesday at 4 o'clock? Yes. Right, facilities planning. 18th. On the 18th at 4 o'clock. Okay. Yes, if there's anybody interested in the police advisory board. Yeah, we've uh, changed things around and we had this, at one time, we had a public safety board, which was looking at police, fire, and anything with public safety. Because of the, uh, I guess, the demise of the fire discussions between the town and the city, uh, we re renamed and we want to reconstitute the public safety to the police advisory board. And we'd like to uh, invite anybody who's interested to volunteer for this. And this is coming at a, a pretty important time because I believe our contract with the city police is up, so that's going to be reviewed. And uh, I'm sure the, we'd like to have a committee to review that and give us input. So if anybody would like to uh, volunteer and participate in this, you know, uh, drop a note to Carrie. And Al is a continuing member on this, but just please get involved. And we don't want to have something we had years ago with a big <coughs> battle back and forth. Nobody knew what was going on. We had one camp versus the other camp. So let's, you know, try to plan it ahead of time and get as much public input as possible. And it meets about once a month, so okay. it's, it is a time commitment, but it's not arduous. It's not too arduous. Okay. I served on it for four years, and it is an interesting meeting because some of it you go into executive session, and you hear information from the chief of police he normally comes or the captain Ron Hogue you sort of feel like you're on the inside and you're getting some close scoop it's good to have people from citizens from the town on it so I would encourage anybody to get into it 
Okay. Ow. We also talked about doing a survey. Okay. Are we still on that? Yes, yeah. I, I, I haven't contacted the people. I, I, I have the name of the uh, people who did the survey for us some years ago the, uh, down at UVM, so I have to call them. So now that you've opened it up to that, why don't you explain what the survey was instead of keeping the public wondering what the survey well, is about? Well, it's going to be the last time we did it, it was, I forget all the particular topics, but it was pretty wide ranging. But I think we want to get some advice and guidance as to what people think about what our capital expenditure, where do we want to go with the town, uh, and we want to do it on a fairly formal basis. So we get as much input as we can and, and make sure it's statistically accurate. You know, putting a, uh, uh, some forms out at uh, the town hall or at the election, only a few people respond and uh, you, don't, you don't get a good broad section. So we want something that we can really hang our hat, in, hat on. So if we look at we're going to go forward and we're going to put some money on something, I mean, you go right down the whole list. Pedestrian bike paths, let's say, uh, uh, where should we do, what should we do with the town hall? What should we do with, uh, in the future, uh, do we want to have a, a, a professional fire department? I have no idea. But uh, we're open to the type of questions we're going to put on the survey. Perhaps we could include them in the tax bills when I mailed them out in July. We could. We could. Remember the last time we did it, we, uh, to get a very 95% accuracy, we needed a certain number of respondents. So we had to use the, uh, the tax rolls and keep sending them until we got enough people in to make sure mm -hmm. it was statistically accurate. You need them problem with sending them out with the tax rolls is that we have a lot of renters right and it would exclude yeah. them no we, I think the, I think we ended up trying to do it with voters um, <clears throat> but I'll, you know, Chip Sawyer from the city was the fellow who uh, headed that one up last time and he's the one that uh, gave me the name of the uh, the people down at UVM who will be doing it okay but, I don't know. I don't know if um, sending them out at tax time is the most motivating thing you can do. Fire the ball, lower the taxes. Look at your, look at your tax <laughs> bill and right. look at increases. Right. <laughs> but see, that's that's Bill. Well, we got it. Public comments, Charlie, uh, and Alan is still here. I drove down to the bay one day last week and I saw a crane out on the dock. And I shot right over to Alan. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> so, Alan, you want to explain what the crane was doing? With the new marina coming in the bay, the dock doctors and Chuck, the owner, came to me and asked permission to offload their docks and their moorings from our dock. With the ice still in the lake, it's kind of hard to put a barge in and stuff. So, so any work that you see on the dock, it's not really town work. It's just for the marina. It's a staging point which will be pretty much set up here soon. They, um, they were in a big rush to get the main structures of the dock in the water before the water got too high so they wouldn't be able to use the dock. And it's probably a good thing because the water's starting to come over the dock. So Coming up real high real quick. That's a good time to do it after we get our structural evaluation too. <laughs> as long as I don't do too much damage, it's, we have enough trouble. They did sign a waiver and they have plenty of insurance. And <laughs> no, I mean, we know it's good. No, no, I know it's good. We may get a new dock out of this thing. <laughs> Just so town residents know, they, I did have them sign a contract that they're fully insured. So. Yeah. We could have got a new dock. Yeah. <laughs> they could have got a new crane. Okay. Just very so, I noticed that Vermont Alert has not talked at all about the heavy rain. But driving down here tonight, I was amazed at how much rain is coming off our French Hill. And I assume that that's going to impact some of our streams, which may impact certainly the sewer plant, because coming down Congress Street, it was falling. So I just wondered, have you heard anything about possible flooding? Uh, they have been sending alerts. I just got one about an hour ago. But they were can actually talking more about the high wind that, that they expected, but that didn't arrive. They said the EOC, the Emergency Operations Center, was standing by in case there was flooding or wind events, but the risk was low. They categorized it as low at this point. 
I think that um, I'd just like to say that I hope the public uh, realizes that we're trying to um, prioritize uh, the list of things that have to be done in this town that should be done, uh, such as the new DPW, possibly a new town office, uh, the health path. Um, uh, it's this board's, it's our efforts to prioritize it and at some point in time try to put a completion date on something so that on them so that we're not looking at, you know, month after month after month just talking about it. So have dis different stages where you have action items on at different stages. But um, I think we've, in the last couple of months, we've made a, a lot of progress and we've done a lot of things in, uh, that we hope will uh, help bring this stuff to us. Uh, yeah. We've cleaned up our project pending list and all of that, and so it's uh, more manageable. We can focus, everybody can focus on what should be done. And I think that, you know, we're asking for the public's help because we sit here and we, we try to make decisions, and I know we're elected to, in these positions to make decisions for the town, but, you know, you sit here and so often you wonder if, uh, if you've made the right decision and how people are going to accept it so it's it's kind of nice to get some feedback from the from the people of the town but uh, we're going to try real hard to make uh, 2018 the most productive year we've seen in a long time is that correct that sounds like a, like a <laughs> absolutely okay plug right <laughs> i have a plug of my own if i could mr chairman three seconds Carry on. Go ahead. yeah so at our planning meeting last thursday we also did uh, authorize the i think we fully authorized the creation of a parks committee which will be headed up, you know, I'm going to be the select board liaison. We've got some membership from the town uh, forest master trail plan committee that had committed previously to joining a new committee if it was created. But we're also looking for new membership. Anybody that's interested in, you know, affirming the town's intent to invest in recreational assets, uh, please come forward and join this committee. We're going to meet, was it, was it Wednesday or Thursday, May? I think it's a Wednesday, but I'd, I'd have to check. If you're interested, just call us. Yeah, give, give, give Carrie's office a call, and we'll get you the information, and we'd love to have you, and we're going to try to formalize it, I think, and Carrie and I are working on what we'd like to start out with, but it's my intent that we have this first meeting and, you know, look at the, the exact uh, work, the scope of work that was assigned to us last week as a new committee and maybe make a six-month action plan so that we can you know, start kicking some items back with um, some results. So I'm hoping it proves to be a. Yeah, you have, a really you have, good you have three gems to work with between the Bay Park, Cohen Park, and the Forest. You try to you know, get them up to snuff and so you get maximum utilization. It should be fantastic. Okay. Uh, you get that done, we've got three more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good deal. Thank okay, you. with that uh, said, we. Uh, I want to take have a very brief executive session uh, to look at a couple of uh, letters, and uh, so I'd like to make a motion that we I hate reading this whole thing that we go into executive session to discuss legal and contractual issues where premature general public knowledge of the subject matter would place the town at a substantial disadvantage. Do the same thing. I'd like to invite Carrie uh, to sit in with us. Vote in favor to get the saying aye. Aye. And there will be no motions coming out of this thing.